Okay, uh, good evening at 6.34 p.m. on April 11, 2024. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals uh, appears to have a forum presence, so we'll start the meeting. Uh, uh, we're going to start with a roll call uh, for members present. Adam Sokolowski, Chair. David Sharp, present. Yeah, be Richard Harrington, present. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have David Potter twice. There we go. Okay. Hey, good evening, Dave. We could just uh, yes. acknowledge the uh, roll call vote or roll call that we're all present. That would be great. Uh, you need me to say that I'm here, David Potter. I'm remote and present. All right, excellent. All right, we're going to skip over the minutes and go right to new business. Uh, item four on the agenda, 84 Greenfield Road, public hearing. The Deerfield Zoning Board of Appeal will hold a public hearing on April 11th at 6.30 p.m. to consider a special permit and variance yeah. act filed by New Singular Wireless PCS LLC to raise the existing communication power by 20 feet, install an antenna with a full total height of 110 feet, install a walk-up cabinet inside an expanded compound, and to install a diesel generator next to the existing Verizon generator on property located at 84 Greenfield Road, identified in the assessor's records as map 159, lot 16, pursuant to zoning bylaw chapter 179. Application doc documents are available for review in the foyer of municipal offices or online at the town website. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ed Parry. It's P-A-R-E. I'm an attorney at Brown Rudnick, One Financial Center in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm here representing New Singular Wireless, PCS LLC, which operates as AT&T. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as you summed up the uh, meeting notice, uh, we're here to co-locate, uh, seek approval to co-locate AT&T's and, uh, AT wireless facility uh, to the tower. We are proposing to extend the tower by 20 feet to get above Verizon. Uh, the fire district's antenna will go back to the top of the antenna once we're done. It'll be a similar installation to Verizon's uh, facility that's existing. I did supply some pictures. We gave you some plans as to what we're doing. Uh, we do need to bump out the fence enclosure by about three and a half feet. Uh, we'll match the height of the fence with the green slats. And in discussions with the fire district, uh, we did agree to put the generator over in the same location that Verizon's uh, is located. So we'll trench over to that for backup power. Uh, with that, it's pretty straightforward uh, installation, similar to Verizon's. And I'd be happy to answer any questions for you and members of the board online. We do have a couple of engineers with us if there are any technical questions. But with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I was able to review the documents in advance. I don't have any questions. I, I'm sorry. Can you? I, I can't hear you at all. I really need you to put the microphone closer and speak right. up. Maybe, if you can maybe. pull it closer to you, I maybe. It's a problem for every board. Maybe we can upgrade this microphone system uh, in the future. We should put that recommendation in. Uh, I do not have any questions. I reviewed their documents that were provided, that you provided to us in advance. Uh, I'm open to any questions from the board and then entertain any abutters or public questions after board members get satisfied with their questions. Yeah, I have a very simple question, actually. I also reviewed the material, but it just struck me. I'm not sure I registered. Are, are you uh, already on this tower and going higher, or you're not on the tower? No, we're not on the tower yet. Yeah. Co-locating. Okay. Right. Okay. Only Verizon's located. Verizon and Is the there fire district, obviously. Okay. Okay. I was just curious about that, but I have no other questions. Well, AT and T customers will have coverage now. Yes, yes. Yeah. I have a question. How close is the next AT and T tower from this one? Uh, I, I'm going to ask Martin. Do you, uh, Martin Laven is our radio frequency engineer. Martin, do you know where the next closest AT and T facility is located? The distance. Distance-wise, 
I don't know offhand, um, but our plots show about two miles north and south. And there's um, not a uh, tower there or something. It's, it's at least two miles away. The the, uh, the plot shows some coverage coming off from the top and the bottom um, from those sites. So it's, they're at least two miles away. And so this will significantly increase AT&T's coverage of this area? Yes, we get uh, 2.7 square miles of new coverage. Thank you. I don't have any questions at this time. <clears throat> uh, is there anyone online, any abutters that you see, Amy, or anything that was reported to you in advance of the meeting? Anyone from the audience? My name is Bill Swayze. I'm the fire chief for the South Deerfield Fire District. Uh, when the district put the original tower back, I think we permitted it in 2016, was installed in 2017. Our intent in the, the base of that tower was, was built to accept this, this additional um, 30 feet onto it. Uh, it's going to give the district uh, some additional revenue which will assist in the taxes for the South Deerfield Fire District. Also, it's going to provide better coverage. Uh, a lot of people are out hiking on Mount Sugarloaf and North Sugarloaf now. We've got a little bit of a, a dead area. We've had a, a number of mountain rescues up there. Uh, in the majority, I would say probably 90% of our, our first responders are uh, AT&T. We currently use an app called Cal Topo, and this will aid and assist us in uh, better rescues for the people that are up there hiking. That's all I have to say. Okay, I would, uh, unless there's anything else, I would um, entertain a motion and close the public hearing and then we can vote on if we'd like to approve the special permit or not. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. I second. Okay, uh, so the motion was made by Gabby. It was seconded by Dave Sharp and Adam Sokolowski. I'm in favor. Dave Sharp, aye. Gabby Richard Harrington, aye. David Potter, aye. Okay, uh, does the board have any questions or any discussion before we take a vote? Not me. Okay. Um, as far as uh, conditions are concerned, anybody would like to have any conditions on this permit? Nope. Or it's approved as presented? Okay, I'll make a motion to approve this special permit as presented. I'll second that. Uh, all those in favor? Gabby Richard Harrington, aye. David Potter, aye. Dave Sharp, aye. Adam Sokolowski, aye. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And Amy will be in touch with you on permits picked up and stuff that after she gets it all taken care of. Terrific. Thanks. Sir. I know we're the only item tonight, so we appreciate you coming out. Thank you. No, we appreciate it. And uh, we hope this uh, you know, increases connectivity and maybe gives people other options besides hardwired internet at their homes downtown. Here, so. Sure. Good point. Thanks again. Can I... Uh, yeah. Can I just make one point? Um, you checked off both special permit and variance on the application. Do they? I don't. Do they need a variance? I don't think so. Uh, well, hold on. I don't. I don't think you do because that's a telecommunications district, is it not? It, it is, and I I thought that the, the height restriction was a special permit. Yeah, we just saw the special prayer. If the, the box was checked, that was an error. We just saw the special prayer. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Nice to meet you. Sure. All right. Nice uh, to meet you, too. Agenda item three minutes from 2 5 24. Any questions or comments or corrections on those?
No, not from me. Nope. I think I missed that meeting, so I don't have anything to add. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from 2524. Second. Okay, uh, I make a motion, Adam, and second by Mr. Sharp. All those in favor? Do I, need to, do I need to abstain if I wasn't there? Uh, I don't believe so. No. Gabby Richard Harrington, I accept them. Dave Potter was yes on that as well? Yeah. Dave Sharp, I. Anonymous. All right. I don't have any other business unless anybody else does. I appreciate everybody making it online or out this, this evening. No. For me. Right. Well, we can close the meeting then. Great. No motion to adjourn. We're just closed. Closed. Perfect. Thank you. I'm okay. sorry. Who just made the motion to adjourn? Oh, sure. Adam, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Adam. Thank you. 645. I'll second that. David Potter, aye. Gabby yeah, Richard Harrington, aye. Dave Sharp, aye. Adam, aye. Unanimous. All right. Okay. Good job. Okay. Thanks, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you, Adam. Good night.